had a lovely week in Oxford last week. Did some training and uh, it was a good opportunity to just chill out. <coughs> a good opportunity for me to do some more graft in the gym with Tweets, uh, who's the conditioner. Now uh, it's just a case of focusing for the Scotland week and um, <coughs> getting cranked into the, into the, into the jock. It's going to be a tough old game. Another busy day for, uh, for Jorgen Shoots, doing a bit of analysis on YouTube. <laughs> How do you get your hair so beautiful? Oh my goodness, this light is not good for your shiny head. <laughs> the state of that is amazing. Would you ever let someone randomly do a tattoo on you like Kuwait? Yeah. You've not done any guns for a while? Got pipes, got pistols there. That's not bad, that mate. Yeah. Got, a, got a peak there. Got a peak. Yeah. yeah, come on. Tell me about. Tell me about the weekend. What were your thoughts? It's a tough game, mate. They spoil the ball a lot. Yeah. But on the flip side, it was a good. Still a good sort of experience for the boys to, yeah. to grind the result out rather than smash them. What about about this week? Yeah, my first potential grand slam. So yeah, fuck it. Fifty the cap. Yes, boss. Big day. Yeah. We have Matt Banahan here and Dave Tennyson, otherwise known as Reg, who is the uh, erstwhile kit man. So, Banners, let's, uh, let's quiz Reg quickly whilst we're uh, here. Uh, Reg, what would you say your daily job was for the boys? My daily job? <laughs> um, uh, to sort of, um, just try and look after them, the coaches and the managers. Yeah. Who's the uh, player which probably gives you the most requests? Recently, Chris Ashton. He, obviously, I'm his best mate at the moment. He. Reg, is there any chance of it? I said, let's, let's put it on the list. The most untidiest person, Ben Foden. The most forgetful person. Might be loose already, but maybe ah, Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, balance, no trouble at all. There you That's go. Right. Tick list. So here I am, my familiar chair in, uh, in my room, Penny Hill Park. Joined with my beautiful uh, roommate. Steve Thompson, look at him there. What are you going to do when you finish playing, whenever that is? Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to coach him, I think. Yeah. Definitely go back into a bit of bike riding and do a bit for charity, but then also, you know, just enjoying life as well, you know. Yeah. Look, like I said earlier, it's a great life, uh, but it's quite strict. Yeah. In the way you've got to do, you don't get that it's routine, isn't it? Really and stuff like, yeah, exactly. So, I just enjoy it and actually travel around countries that actually don't play rugby. Personal point of view, it's been very, very disappointing, frustrating, awesome that I've still been here and involved in the squad, and you know the coaches have uh, been real good to me in that sense, and it's been great to still be here. But in some ways, it's made it even tougher because you're, you're a part of the every day, the meetings, the watching the training, but you're not a part of what's going on on the field. And that's it. I'll be back. I'll be back soon enough. You know, a couple of weeks. I'm hoping. Obviously ruled out of this island game now. There's no point in coming back too early. I'm hoping to get back for the Bath Leicester game. Obviously my old club. That'll be flipping awesome.